If you're doing this on Linux, you could be saving so much time with just one line of code. Aliases can save you so much time by not spending that time typing the same thing over and over and over again. So today I'm going to show you. Now aliases, I believe, they're definitely in Bash, and I use Zish, but it works the exact same way in Bash. And I'm not sure about other, how would we call it, shells, yeah, other shells. However, I'm pretty sure it probably is in every shell, and if it's not, then it's a bad shell. I'm just <laughs> sorry to tell you, but if it doesn't have aliases, it's not a good shell. So to add an alias, what you need to do is first you got to open up your dot bashrc or your dot zishrc so i use zish so i stop zishrc and um obviously i've got a whole bunch of stuff but if we go down to the bottom here we got my aliases and they're very simple but very effective for so so for me sometimes i want to go and edit in vim but i need to have pseudo permission so i have this sv which stands for pseudo vim and this is a more dangerous command, but you know, yada yada, and this is preferred, but it doesn't always work. So those are some basic, you know, it's just easier to write. But um, sometimes, you know, let's say when you're doing LS. Now, if you didn't have this, um, let me go to bash, because I don't think, I don't have a bash RC. Okay, so for example, with remove, remove is kind of a dangerous command by itself. Let's say I, I don't know, touch a file called file and I just want to remove file, then that's all it is. So for putting this alias of rm equals dash i, what this does is if I do this again, so touch file, and then I want to remove, but I put this flag in dash i file, then it'll ask me, do I want to remove this empty file? Essentially, this just makes rm safe. If you accidentally press rm and you included a file that you didn't want to, then boom, you save yourself from deleting. So yeah, there's many different uh, little flags you can do to make your usage of certain things safer. So for example, same with copy, you don't want to copy the wrong data into the wrong place. So it's always like good to ask, like, do you want to copy this into this? Or do you want to move this to this or change its name or you know, whatever. So yeah, likewise, I just have all these kind of things. Um, I also have this one saves me so much time if you're on arch, okay, and you want to download a package, then it's obvious that you're going to have to do sudo pacman dash s blah blah blah. Why waste all that time? What I do is I do p dash s and then blah blah blah, you know. So p literally just is an alias for sudo pacman, p standing for pacman, just very easy p dash s or p dash rns. Um, if you really wanted to do be efficient, you could do ps and then whatever thing, and then you could do like maybe like pr and then to remove a package. But um, I just set it to P. So that very simple thing just saves me like what? Because think about the ratio. There's four, six letters. So there's 10 letters plus a space. 11 letters you got to type out. And I replace that for one letter, which is P. So just like that, you're saving a whole bunch of time. And, you know, time stacks up. Time adds up. So we want to be efficient. We want to be able to do the things that we need to do quickly and quick as, as quick as possible. Not waste time on, like, stupid stuff. Another thing is, you know... I've showed this in another video is that sometimes I will read and then I'll summarize the book. So why should I go into my home directory or go into my Dropbox book reviews and then Vim, like go into Vim for it. Instead, I can just do book and then book and then boom, I've got all my books just ready to like go just start like summarizing or whatever. So uh, likewise, I have a alias for work where I'll go into this document where I can start working on what I need to work. This is like my own little like side project. Um, what else? I've got iPhone update. This one literally just puts all the files from my phone onto my computer. All I need to do is I, I plug in my iPhone. I know iPhone is normie as hell, but um, I plug it in and I use this program called iFuse to mount it to dot iPhone, I think. And then I copy it uh, through up and this is like recursively up and checking for like updates. So I copy, I copy the files. I copy all the pictures onto where I store my photos, which is in pictures, uh, pictures iPhone. And then after that, I unmount and done. So just a very easy, I actually used to have three commands. I used to have one that mounts the iPhone that updates, like copies everything. And then I had one that unmounted, but I realized like I can just merge all these commands into one because why not? Like, I don't, like, it's not that important to mount it. Next, I have this brightness one. I actually think 
this was something I was experimenting on, but I don't think I ever got to work. But um, this was essentially trying to make it that I can like change the brightness of my monitor through the command line. Like if I do like brightness 80 and um, yeah, I remember I, I never got this to work, but uh, maybe I'll try. Uh, cursor, this is just a program I use because I have two monitors, but to exp like it just launches the app. It just launches the app and hides it and that's it. Shut down. In Linux, you actually have to type down shut down now. Just annoying, just shut down. Reboot. Re okay, this one's stupid. I actually don't, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Uh, here we also got weather. I remember, I actually remember I did this, but I actually never use this. All it does is like you type in weather and it'll show you your weather, but it doesn't actually show the area. Like this is not where I live. This is in like a completely different state. So it's not that useful to me, but maybe it's useful to you. And then here I just got like Wi-Fi. But honestly, the syntax is as simple as alias, the command name, and then what you want it to do. So for example, like I got the command book and all this does is it sets up like, it, it essentially sets up a program called book that when you run this program called brook, it will run a bash script that runs this command. I think, I'm, guess, I'm guessing that's how alias works, that it creates like a very uh, quick bash script that just has whatever you uh, written into it. And it just makes it easier than writing a bash script each and every single time. You can just put this into your um, your shell, uh, shell's RC file, and then that's it. But yeah, you just put quotation marks and that's it. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. This, like if you really like start thinking about how the kind of commands you do, the kind of commands that you type and use on a daily basis, you can save genuinely an immense amount of time. So I hope this video has been informative, helped you in some way, shape or form. If you liked it, please like, subscribe and comment below. It helps me out uh, very much. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.